Welcome, Sagi. Oh, Sagis. All right, so Sagis, what we're recognizing, what we are really recognizing and understanding is that, yes, this is the your soulmate. So, Sagis, wow, 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 wow. Ooh, la la. Okay, so the energy of the magician, Sagi. Um, yes, it is your soulmate, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. Um, we are recognizing that some of you were asking, is this your soulmate? Yes, it is your soulmate. If this is a Capricorn, if this man is a Capricorn Sagittarius in cups, yes, it can be a soulmate, okay? All right, so let's go in this. So we have the energy of the magician, and the energy of the magician is showing up something um, about uh, um, a relationship, about some emotional situation with a relationship that some of you Sagittarius was having. And... What this is transpiring is that you have a, a lot of emotional up about a relationship. And now people are recognizing and seeing the truth of a relationship. Okay. People are now recognizing. Um, and you're going to be finding out the truth of a Libra. What was the um, situation? Why this person wanted to connect with you? What was the relationship between you and this person? Um, so a lot of you Sagittarian are going to be recognizing that um, you had some sort of an emotional ups about a Libran. And this Libran is going to be returning in your life. Okay. So, and you, you know, you're trying to figure whether or not why is the, this Libran back? And you're going to be recognizing that this Libran was off chasing someone else and the person didn't want them. So the Libran is back. <laughs> the mastermind. <laughs> the energy of the devil, the mastermind. Energy of the devil. So... A lot of you, Sagi, is going to be recognizing that a Libran had, you know, left you in the cold. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, this Libran returns. And the problem why this Libran returns is because the person they, they were chasing and they were hoping to have some sort of a new start, they recognize it's not happening. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I see a lot of you are thinking or trying to figure out. A lot of you Sagittarian met a and uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or is recognizing that this Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is your soulmate. A lot of you Sagittarian men are going back and women are going back and is thinking, oh my God, my soulmate was the Capricorn. That was my soulmate. That person was my soulmate. But the energy of the devil intervene in order to create problems. That person who entered my marriage, my relationship, was sent by outside forces. So something, I love you Sagittarian, women or men, is going to be recognizing I was with my soulmate. You know, that Capricorn man was my soulmate. Um, and, uh, you know, the energy of the devil, because if you notice the intervention, somebody comes to intervene in a soulmate relationship. And you Sagittarius are now going to be recognizing who this person is and that the person is the really carries the energy of the, the devil. And you Sagittarius are going to be like, oh my God. You know, this person was the person that intervened. 
Uh, and, you know, I got to explain this, Saji. Um, the energy of the devil is over the energy of the Capricorn, but the, this Capricorn is like never wanted deliberate, you know. Whatever is transpiring, mm, nope, it's not, um, mm, no. Um, you know, there sometimes men, um, men get caught up when someone is being kind to them. And I think that that is a situation where, um, you know, whoever this Libran is that had left you and is now coming back, oh, you're going to be recognizing, hey, that was my soulmate. That was my twin flame. Um, but the person got intrigued by someone else. The, 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 you know, the, the, the other person who was there, because if you recognize this person had no, no effort of, you know, getting in a relationship with this person. So it was as if you were there with a Libran and all of a sudden they got intrigued by someone else and they move and follow someone else and chase someone else. And then all of a sudden, bling, 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 that person is not um, interested. And then they recognize and finally we wake up um and to recognize hey it's just a friend they're not interested in me in no uh way or form in any in intimacy so it was as if um you know your partner your husband was uh or you yourself was looking for you know something for a fix or um looking for their soulmate or and then they saw someone and then they thought, oh, all right, so this is my soulmate. But, you know, the thing with this person is that they have been chasing after the dream uh, of a soulmate. Now, soulmates are always opposite polaria, okay? So, always opposite polaria where, you know, if, if you find two spiritual soulmates, okay, they decide... Uh, to come in in order to create spirituality so whoever this liberan is and was so, because you can see it here this liberan came back and you Sagittarians are like uh, what it is you really want and this liberan is not saying it but this liberan wants and you start with you um Sagittarian but you know they're not saying it so um, are you and this Libran a soulmate? Yes, it could be because uh, you are um positive element. So yes, fire sign go with the hair sign. But is this the right one for you? Maybe you feel that way. They are looking for a soulmate relationship. So that is why they're coming back. So a lot of you Lib um Sagittarian have some sort of a past history with a Libran. And this Libran is coming back to you. So, you know, kudos to you. Uh, happiness, is this what you want? I see a lot of you. Yes, but the thing you are not aware of is that the Libran has chased after a Capricorn. And that person is not the one. This Libran was thinking that the Capricorn was their soulmate. No, it's not. Um, Librans and Capricorn can only go with Capricorns with um, Aquarian Capricorn cops. Okay. And that is where we're, you know, forgetting the shape and leaving the shape um, of how people connect to, with each other. So this is going to be good because what is happening and transpiring is that this Libran finally, bam, gets slapped over the head. All right. Okay. So the Sagi is really my soulmate. Yeah. Okay, because you were chasing after a soulmate that you were creating and manipulating in a soulmate. But no, this was not your soulmate. You And, you know, people, you can recognize who your soulmates are. Um, you know, if you're chasing behind someone, the intimacy level, if you and a soulmate do not uh, have the, you know, the, the intimacy level level where you experience and you 
experiment, then no, that's not a, a soulmate. Okay. Um, if you have to pull someone out of their shell, then no. If it goes naturally, yes, it is a soulmate. Is that you're, you know, because of, you know, you're connected with your soul. You're connected with this person who you have known. Was the Capricorn a soulmate? Yes, in a past lifetime, but I recognize um, that uh, uh, this Capricorn, if you look at the way this person dress, it is as if the elevation of higher wisdom and knowledge is far too powerful for them to only concentrate on the mundane aspect of sex. All right, I know that was a big one that, that just came in. But it is now that you're recognizing it. So um, a lot of women um, want some sort of a commitment from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. The man is not going to be committing to you because this man is in love with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That's where this man's heart is. This man knows that it's his, his soulmate. And, um, you know, don't expect a commitment. Don't push this person to commit because they're not going to be commit because uh, their heart and their true soulmate is a Taurus, is a Capricorn, okay? They have been going together with this person in many, many lifetime. They are both here for the last time. They reconnect. Um, negative forces pull them away. But the love that they share with each other will never have been broken. Never. Not in this lifetime of another lifetime. And no matter what people throw at them, this love is not going to be broken. So, um, you know, it is powerful. This, this is, it's as if this Valentine is bringing in powerful revelations to a lot of people. A whole lot of powerful resolution. To a lot of people where people are going to be recognizing, um, you know, what is happening, what is transpiring and recognizing how things have changed and, and, you know, figuring out uh, what was happening, what was transpiring and recognizing um, the situation. So it, it, it is going to be powerful. There is no question about it. Um, whatever is transpiring and is happening there is no question there is definitely going to be a powerful resolution is that is going to be coming in a lot of you are going to be recognizing what has been happening what has been transpiring how things have been going how things have been changing for the best okay so it it, it is going to be good a whole lot of you are going to be thinking about the past and recognizing that the past um, is where your happiness and joy was. Um, a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing that. And uh, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that uh, a lot of you are going to be feeling some sort of an emotional situation um, where you need to work on these uh, um, emotional situations. It's as if some of you, um, you know, whole... Um, you're you hold yourself to um, you know, something that a Libran has done you in the past, and holding on to this emotional. And I see that uh, um, by you holding on to this emotional, you're not letting go in order to heal yourself. Okay, and you need to let go and heal yourself. There is some sort of a master, um, uh, you know, someone who is. Uh, trying to manipulate and a lot of you are going to be recognizing that uh, you manipulated a Capricorn to become your soulmate and it did not work out. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. It didn't work out because this person, um, it, it's as if I, you know, whoever this person is, magic doesn't affect them. So a lot of you Sagittarian have manipulated a situation to get a Capricorn to come your way. But it didn't work out because uh, 
this person, I magic don't affect them. They can't be harried by magic. They can't be touched by magic for some sort of a reason. So it never works because they are who they are. I gotta go. If you want to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. Namaste.